All right, we're going to go ahead. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Distinguished guests, my name is Gemma Sampas, and certainly not Jim Carrey, and welcome to the first episode of our show. The thing is, my name is Eric Salhaney, and um, it appears that moments ago, Gemma's turtleneck shed into my water glass. Into your school water, Into my school water glass, so this is a good start. So, nonetheless, can I give you a quote? Sure can. Can I give you a quote to comment on? So last night I was doing some extensive research, and I found this quote by master cult filmmaker John Waters. He said in a 2012 interview about high school, that's the thing, there's all these people in high school, and you have to endure them, but you don't have to hang around with them. Can you extrapolate? I think you really don't have to hang out with them. <laughs> there are a lot of people who you do not have to hang out with. How many people do you feel close to? In the school? Sure. Probably about like five. Am I on that list? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, like, do you think that you hang around a lot of people who you only endure and don't maybe enjoy so much? I think you're forced to. You think you're I forced to? I think that's what high school is all about. What do you mean? Well, you're shoved in this building with a lot of people who you may not like. And you're forced to, you know, just work with them. And it's rough. That's what high school is. Is it? It is. I don't know. Well, do you ever feel like when you're walking down the hallway, right? Mm -hmm. Do you ever feel like you might be in a movie? Do you ever get that feeling? A movie? No. A dream state? Yeah. In a bad way. It's <laughs> more of like a nightmare. A haze? A haze. Dazed and confused? Dazed and confused. 1993, Richard Linklater? Uh-oh. Um, <laughs> so... I want to talk about high school movies and how high school is basically represented in film. Do you have any tropes that you think are either true or false that are usually portrayed in film? I think there are actually surprisingly a lot of truths. Mm. Um, tropes? Parking lot? Parking lot, that's true. There's a <laughs> lot of havoc in the parking lot. There's a lot of havoc. Um, a lot goes on. The hallways, that's not true. Yeah. I feel like in the movies they have like an hour mm, to just yes. walk around the halls and yes, like talk yes. to one each other but like yes. no there's classes no there's classes we don't even use our lockers come we on we don't well that's for our high school i, I feel like so. other high schools may use their locker do you think that you can make memorable moments happen like the ones that do in the movies or do you think you have to wait around for them to happen and they just might not i think it's different i think it's not the memories that you have during the summer with your friends i think it's the memories that you make you know with your teachers and mm. it's it's like so different so it's the memories in the classroom yeah it's it's you know like that yeah mm -hmm. hmm. there we go have you seen the breakfast club yep 1985 john hughes he also directed 16 candles where is this going ferris bueller's day off pretty and pink let me finish um do you think that you'll ever have a memory that's equivalent to spending a saturday school day with a bunch of people you've never met before and realizing, hey, these people aren't so bad after all. Saturday school, what? <laughs> do you think you're gonna have, <laughs> do you think- There's cuts. The cast of The Breakfast Club sort of faded into obscurity themselves after the movie, so- I think the whole movie did. That's not a joke. It is not obscure. I'd, um, say, I'd argue that's the most famous high school movie. Maybe. Maybe Mean Girls? No, High School Musical. I don't know. High School Musical. What do musical? you think? The Breakfast Club? For the wrong reasons. High For school the wrong musical. reasons? Here's the thing. Thing is. Thing is. In high school movies, they always go home and they have unlimited time to just relax and do whatever they please. But we have to go home and I don't know about you, but I always have a lot of homework. Do oh, yeah. Do you think that. Oh, yeah. There's in the movies, homework does not exist. It doesn't exist. It's not a thing. No. Um, do you think that you take more time to relax than you do, you know, continuing your high school work after you get home? I think that... It's a personal question. I mean, yeah, I think that when I get home, the last thing you want to do is continue your high school day. And why is that? Well, you know, you've already had seven hours of it. Have you? Yeah, <laughs> and I think, you know, when you go home and you start doing your homework right away, I feel like that... That's just another hour of high school. Can I ask you a deprecating question? I guess. <laughs> I'm have scared. You, have you ever yeah. gotten home from school and immediately started your homework and completed oh, yeah. it in a timely manner? Yeah, not anymore. I used to do that. 
You have? Oh, yeah. I, I'm going to be honest. I don't think I've ever done that. It's not good for your mental health. Doing it right when you get home? Yeah, it's not good. Well, what do you think is an appropriate break to take? An appropriate break? Mm -hmm. I think it's right when you get home. <laughs> you just take a break, but what it's does that break entail? Me, it's me time. It's TV. It's your hobbies. It's... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Well, okay. Then what are the TV shows? Do I want to know? We don't go there. The thing is, I don't think we're going to go there. Um, okay, so you think that relaxation is key. What about extracurriculars? What are those? Model UN, I do do that. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you think of that? Do you make memories there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, once a month. Once a month. But I mean, you know, what's your extracurriculars? Like, they can be very consuming, time consuming, like if it's every day. Mm. You know, that's a little unhealthy. Correct me if I'm wrong, but in high school film, I think that the stress is caused by more of social matters than academic matters. Um, it's usually sort of friend drama or school-wide drama that captivates them and not the work that they have or the tests they have the next day, which I think is practical because you wouldn't want to have a movie that's all about test taking. Mm -hmm. But do you think that stress should be shown more honestly in film, or do you think that that's something no one would want to see? No one wants to see that. Okay. I mean, you know, that wouldn't be a good high school movie if you see stress. But do you think that just a little bit would make sense? I mean, yeah. I mean, what kind of stress? You know, like stress over school? Like stress that's not, over school. That's not fun. Academia. That's not fun to watch. It's not fun to do. It's not fun to watch. Yeah. It's not fun. I mean, like social stress. Social stress. Do that's you what have usually. That? Do I cause you social stress? You cause me social stress, yes. <laughs> Why is that? I mean, look where I am right now. <laughs> Look what I'm doing. All right. Well, that wraps it up. That wraps it up. Thank you. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Great job, guys. That was really good. Was it?